Hi everyone. I hope you all are doing great. This is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I welcome you all. In this session, we are going to discuss about some of the crucial and significant bioinformatics related resources and tools, especially related to your RNA biology, RNA therapeutics, and RNA analysis. Actually, so if someone, maybe student or young researcher who are planning to come to RNA biology, or maybe you already are working on RNA biology sector, so you have to deal with their. databases structure related things and docking related things so i will be showing you some of the significant resources and the databases and tools for doing the analysis of your rna related thing let's first understand why rna biology rna therapeutics and rna tools are important and in which sector you people can use these things so either you are working on basic biology or applied and translation areas rna plays a significant role if you are working at basic biology level especially the molecular biology and biotech related genomics related you might know that non coding genome plays huge role in our biological functioning and the regulations in the previous era in the previous time we used to think dna is the significant part of your molecular system which plays all these roles and we used to call the non coding genome junk dna but now we know that non coding genes also played significant role in the cellular regulation at the level of sequences and at the level of interactions and structure so non coding rna itself is a very important area if you are going to analyze and study these things we can decode the cellular mechanisms and the biological pathways if we talk about the rna therapeutics and the applied tools you might have heard of lot of things like siRNA miRNA RNA aptamers which are rna vaccines crispr guided rna these all things are actually either sequence level or structure level rna only so you have to understand we are in a time when rna biology plays a major role and especially in the your know, biomedical areas and in biopharmaceutical so once you are performing such kind of projects grant or thesis you have to deal with rna bioinformatics also so in this session we will be discussing about those so let's first uh, briefly understand what are the significant areas where rna analysis and rna biology will be required as i said for basic biology if you are working at non coding rna level omic level like transcriptomic level then you have to deal with this rna studies and you will require certain databases and tools for the analysis of rna for rna genomic purpose and omic purpose transcriptomic purpose and non coding rna analysis related projects so whether you are from plant sector microbiology maybe you are working at human and biomedical area you will require to analyze these kind of rna on parallel if you are working at rna therapeutics or rna tools like rna i mi rna riboswitches rna aptamers crispr guided rna or your aptazymes then you will require to analyze these different rna at the level of sequence and structure so for different project based on your requirement and your needs you have to go and do the analysis related to your rna at the level of databases at the level of different sequence tools and sometimes structure tools like riboswitches and your aptamers work at structure level on parallel your siRNA RNAi these things work at sequence level so based on your requirement different tools will be required in one go we cannot teach you every tools and databases but in this session we will try to give you an overview for the beginner participants so they can come and they can start rna biology related projects and analysis especially using these bioinformatics tools and resources so let's first take the example of covid-19 as we all are seeing this challenging period on the globe related to covid-19 we all know that this 
virus which causes covid-19 is SARS-CoV-2 which is a RNA viruses and not only this RNA viruses but other viruses like HIV and hepatitis C are also RNA viruses which causes such infectious deadly diseases and we know in biomedical and biopharmaceutical studying these genome will be very important part like you all are seeing every time new variants are coming so for designing your diagnostic therapeutic and vaccine the RNA genome studies, the variant genome studies, the mutation, the sequence, structure, host pathogen interaction, everything will be important. So to understand COVID-19 and to develop diagnostic, therapeutics, vaccine, RNA study and RNA genome study is a significant area both at genome, sequence, structure level. Now come to the RNA therapeutics part. You all are seeing the causing agent is also RNA. And on parallel, the first vaccine which came into the market was Pfizer mRNA vaccines. That is also RNA vaccine. There are a lot of CRISPR-based, aptamer-based diagnostic kit in the market. That is also RNA-related therapeutic. So you can see the causing agent is also RNA and your preventive and protective agents and the therapeutic tools are also RNA. So what this RNA molecule is having such a tremendous property so that they are playing a, such a diverse role. So let's first understand that part and then we will come to the bioinformatics resources. So let's first try to understand RNA, the fundamentals of RNA and RNA biology. I myself has 15 year experience in such subject because my PhD was on RNA aptamers and later on I, we have also worked on SIRNA, SHO RNA ribozymes in parallel projects while performing my PhD. So I do have fair experience with RNA biology along with my RNA aptamer experiences. So first let's understand why RNA can perform such a different task. The answer lies in a very uh, like uh, fundamental principles of your RNA world hypothesis and we have to go back at the fundamental part of your nucleic acid. I'm I think you all might be knowing about DNA. They are capable of doing the vowel pairing. A can pair with T and G can pair with C. And because of this pairing, they attain certain structures, helix and the complementary pairing they attain. And because of that, they have certain function. But on parallel, if you talk about RNA biology, especially the single standard RNA, they are capable of doing unusual pairing. When they are able to do unusual pairing, what happens? They can attain multiple different kind of structures like pseudonaut, quadruplexes, stem loop, bulge and so on. So when we say that RNA are capable of attaining these kind of different structures, this means they are capable of performing different functions also. So if you are working at RNA biology level, then uh, we have to understand them at the sequence level also and at the structure level also and what kind of probable structure they can attain in a thermodynamic feasible conditions. So all these prediction and studies we have to perform if you are working on RNA therapeutics part also especially. Otherwise you have to perform genomics and tools related to your projects. But I'm giving you one examples like especially if you are using RNA for your RNA vaccines, for your diagnostic things or RNA aptamer purpose. In that period we have to get the ideas about this type stability also and thermodynamic data is also we have to predict. So let me give you a few very important resources. If you are a beginner, I would suggest you to explore these things, these databases and resources. I have already told in NCBI, we can get a lot of data about your genomics and transcriptomic things. So for initial literatures and data, you can collect it from NCBI also. But if we specifically talk about RNA related resources, RNA Vienna will be very important uh, resource for RNA related study. Whether you are working at non-coding genome level studies or your sequence level structure or multiple alignments you have to perform. So you can explore RNA Vienna. This is the URL. You can come to that platform. You can explore the page depending on whether you have to perform RNA sequence analysis or structure analysis. 
so first preference will be i would suggest to use rna wear now so suppose your work and projects revolves around structure predictions and structure analysis of these rna tools so uh, i must tell you here that there are very limited resources available especially for your nucleic acid three dimensional predictions and analysis although for secondary structure predictions we have lot of cited platforms and renowned platform so in rna vienna we have one subsections rna fold you just have to provide the input sequences of your rna and they will predict the secondary structure so you can use rna fold if you have multiple structures and multiple sequences among which you wanted to see the binding motif and consensus in that case you can use rna fold ali fold sorry for single standard you can use rna fold and for multiple samples you can use rna ali fold so do check out this rna vena page and explore these things for your structure predictions also the another tool which you can use is s fold there you can provide the input rna sequences and based on that they will predict the secondary structure of your rna along with the thermodynamic details so you can get the ideas about the stability you can come to this page of s fold and for rna structure predictions you have to use s rna Mfold is also a renowned platform for nucleic acid and is very cited platform for secondary structure prediction of your nucleic acid DNA and RNA. So for RNA prediction, you can explore Mfold. Uh, I will be putting the links in the description for the new link of Mfold page. The another tool which I would suggest you here for RNA studies is uh, RNA structure from Matthews Lab. i will be putting the links also about the url so this platform you can utilize for various purpose and for your secondary structure prediction of your rna dna also for that purpose very easily you can utilize these things and for statistical and folding studies also for tertiary structure prediction there are few limited resources available for your nucleic acid predictions and especially in rna and dna cases so i will be uh, letting you know few platforms and few tools which you can use for 3d prediction of rna so if your work involves the structure predictions and structure analysis at the 3d level especially for rna if you might be using rna aptamer ribosuces aptazyme rna drugs then you have to do interaction studies of these things along with your ligands so in that cases tertiary structure studies and prediction of these structures are important so uh, let's explore few tools for this one ifold is a renowned platform for nucleic acid predictions tertiary structure prediction so if you want to predict the tertiary structure of your rna you just have to come to ifold do the registration you just have to provide the information about your name your institutes you have to provide the educational email id and then you have to just uh, do the login and you have to provide the input sequences of your nucleic acid and based on that they will give you the structure prediction and for visualization you may use pymol discovery studio any other camera platform for that purpose if your work also revolves around the molecular interaction studies of these rna with other protein or other ligands then you have to perform molecular docking also and if you will notice that most of the molecular docking platforms provide you platform to work on protein protein interaction or protein chemical and protein ligands interaction so there are few limited platform where we can perform nucleic acid and other ligands and macromolecule interaction studies also and if you are a beginner i would suggest you to use patch doc where you can do nucleic acid and protein interactions also and nucleic acid small ligands and other chemical metabolite interaction studies also if your work involves gene function studies or maybe siRNA related projects then you can check out these resources for the prediction of siRNA for your gene
if you want to do crispr guided rna prediction then you can use these platform which are renowned also and quite cited so you just have to provide the gene information and based on that they will predict your guided rna for your crispr work maybe any one of you who might be working in rna viruses or maybe interested to explore such research area in upcoming time then do consider these resources and tools which provides you the detail informations about rna viruses their genome sequence proteins and other crucial information which is required for vaccine development which is also required for your diagnostic therapeutics host pathogen interaction kind of work so do check out these uh, platforms and tools i hope you have found the information insightful and useful and you are going to explore these things i will be providing all the links in the description related to these resources and the tools if you have liked the session i request you to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor thank you